By lunchtime, the town of Railton near Sheffield was in trouble. As Redwater Creek burst, need to waste deep water started gushing through Foster Street and Kimberley Road. Everyone in the town rallying to try to limit the damage. Wayne, Wayne had a bit around there. He probably asked those bags. So. But by the afternoon, some residents had been evacuated. At the moment, we have got water flooding Foster Street in Railton. We have several houses that have been inundated with water. The water's actually gone through at this stage. Most of the businesses have been affected by water in one way or another. The water is still rising at this stage. It was a novelty for some to start with, but residents were soon shocked by how quickly the water came up. I've been here 53 years. This is the first time I've ever seen this, this bad actually flowing down the street like a river. We've been flat out sandbagging this morning. I'm, it's starting to bypass us now. We can't keep up with it. It's come up very quickly and uh, very severe, but this just um, relates to how bad things are in Queensland. We're having a bit of difficulty here and a bit of distress, but no worries. Um, what well, can't be as bad as Queensland, surely. In the middle of summer, no one here expected to find their houses and businesses going under. No hope for this news agency. Tasmania's wild weather has hit the west and northwest Tasmania hard, with 1,600 homes in the region without power. Residents here in Railton are now completely boxed in, unable to leave as flood levels continue to rise. The SES received 60 calls for help in the northwest and sent up 1,000 sandbags from Hobart to help. Residents were also evacuated from homes near the Clayton River Basin, south of Burnie, and Sprint near Olveston, because it was feared dams in those areas would burst. The swollen Don River at Devonport also a concern for police. The community is urged to monitor road closures by visiting www.police.tas.gov.au and heed all SES warnings. Stay out of the water, stop crossing the water. Where it's flooded, do not enter the water at all. Flash flooding is expected to continue through the night. Shelley Spencer, Win News. In the tiny town of Railton, about half hour's drive from Devonport, the cleanup began. The searing heat of the day, a stark contrast to yesterday's conditions when flash flooding ripped through Foster Street, destroying the road. I watched my sister go under in Rockhampton, and then I watched my mum and dad go under in Brisbane, and then yesterday we caught this. So I must be kissed by the blue ass fairy. Mother Nature's fury has broken this man's heart. Water just coming down in one big gush and, and swamped into the house. And it went down through here like a river. For Roy, more than 80 years of memories were washed away in just hours. Everything that was out here, my shoes and that, I see him going down the, down the river there. But I wasn't able to, to get in the water after. Business owners will feel the pinch, but the community is upbeat. I was going to say probably most of the weekend to clean up. It's just the mud and the all the stuff that's sort of associated with it, all the sawdust and the water all together. Everyone's getting in and giving a hand and doing what you can, so yeah, we're just uh, well, a little town, we all stick together. 24 hours ago, I was standing in this exact position, surrounded by water coming from every direction, as flash flooding hit the town. The cameraman and I were lucky to get out. If we'd stayed minutes later, we would have been trapped. More than 40 roads in the northwest remain closed and 200 homes are without water. In Railton, the railway is closed and mining operations have been halted so workers can help with the clean-up. Deloraine was hit hard when the Meander River peaked. Horse stables inundated. Probably ended up with probably at least two foot through the middle of the stables. The horses were nearly no open water at one stage during the night. Houses on the riverbank didn't stand a chance. They come up to our ankles inside. And I was hoping and praying it wouldn't get any higher because we wouldn't have anywhere to go. Early part this morning, the water was right up here. But at least the worst is over. Shelley Spencer, Win News. The TFGA knew it was serious, but didn't expect Tasmania to be hit this hard. We are quite shocked at the extent of the damage. We're talking tens of millions of dollars, not chicken feed. Our assessment, immediate damage assessment, is somewhere in the vicinity of between maybe 60 and 80 million dollars. Hadsbyn farmer James Walker is just one in thousands, counting the cost. He's lost $100,000 from his potato crop, but says it's not about a handout, but a hand up. I've been talking to my field officer um, earlier this week, and they've lost nearly 20,000 tonnes of potatoes. In other words, um, 